Well, good evening and welcome to Compline. As we bring the day to a close, John of Damascus, a monk, teacher of the faith, a man who was immensely important in so many ways, and Nicholas Ferrer, founder of the Little Giddings community, still going as far as I know, two men who did stuff. Hallelujah. Always good when you have people who did stuff. So, let's come before the Lord and close the day and say, Father God, fill us with your spirit now. Bring us your peace. Bring us your quiet. Still in our hearts, as we lay this day before you with thanks, for all that has been a blessing, for sadness in the things that have not gone so well. And as we come to you to go to our beds, what better words. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a moment to reflect on the day and bring especially the things for which we are sorry. Let us ponder the wounds and the pain of the day. we say together most merciful god we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in christ amen O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 143 Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the times past, I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails within me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. 
show me the way I should walk in. For I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. For I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for truly I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Mark 13, 35 to the end of the chapter. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, Keep awake. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people is out. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Father, as we come to the second Sunday of Advent, as tomorrow we remember the role of the prophets, as we think of the words, the foretelling, the fourth telling from those touched by your Spirit who spoke on your behalf, who uttered instructions to the people of God, who brought justice and judgment, enabling a great, great victory. Father, we pray that that same spirit that inspired the prophets may be in, on and with us, that in all we do in our church life, be it preach, teach, sing, be it read readings, hand out hymn books, show people to their seats and welcome them, make tea, coffee, do the simplest tasks, do the hardest tasks that all we do would be a blessing to you and to the people around us that we would make the people of this world aware of your love, your hand stretched out to heal, to bless, to correct. 
Father God, as we think of all this day has been, as we think especially of those who came to St. Editha's tonight to light up a life, to remember those lives ended with enablement, with the ability to live life to the full for as long as life is there, which is the hospice movement itself. Father, we thank you for those who work within the hospice movement. We thank you for those who work to bring the finances in to keep the hospice movement around this nation of ours and around the globe running. And Father, for the blessings they've shown, for the love, for the care, we give you thanks. And we think of all those we know who have been touched by a hospice this night. Lord, I thank you for the love shown to Alan Turvey, for Roger Blay Myers, for Betty Satterwaite, and for so many of the people of our community. Father God, may we enabled by your spirit, quickened by your love. Be a people who minister your grace to all we meet. And as we prepare to go to our beds, we lift to you the people we know, who especially need a touch from you. And Lord, I add to that the couple who yesterday buried their child, the pain of loss, pain of hope, snatched, lost, but not gone thanks to the power of your love, Jesus, the power of your blood. Father God, as we pray this night for peace in the world, peace in the people we know and the situations we know of. We pray for all who mourn, all who may be broken by loss this night. And for those they've lost, may they rest in peace and rise in glory. And for those who live, for those of us who continue to live and will awake tomorrow. Father, may we rest in peace and rise tomorrow to celebrate the glory of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, still our hearts now. Quell the tensions we might have. Quash the fears that surround us. And Lord, sing over us your song of peace that we might sleep and tomorrow might rejoice. O oh Lord, raise us up, we pray. Raise up your power and come among us. And with great might, comfort, strengthen and enable us that although through our sins and wickedness we are hindered in running the race that is set before us, your amazing grace, love and mercy speedily helps and delivers us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory now and for ever. Amen. So, Lord, we come with confidence and say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, be you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. Restore us again, O God of hosts, show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always, we pray. Amen. Guys, sleep well, be blessed. And may those you love wake tomorrow refreshed, energised ready for a day of blessings received. Good night, guys. Bless you.